Hello, 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 and welcome to Storytime with Phil. So today, we are going to be reading Oliver the Curious Owl by Chad Otis. The Owl family had everything they needed in their big tree. It was very quiet and very safe. So they never ventured far. The only question they ever asked was, who, 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 who? But Oliver was new to the family and he asked lots of other questions. Who? What? Where? When? Why? Soon, Oliver knew the answer to every question about being an owl. Now, he wanted to learn about life outside the big tree. Who lives in the faraway woods? No one knows, Oliver. Where does the river go, Dad? Don't leave the tree, Oliver. Why can't I leave the tree, Mom? You might get lost, Oliver. Eep. Then, one day, he met someone else who asked lots of questions. Eep. My name? Oliver. I'm an owl. What are you? What's your name? <coughs> You're a bug whose name is Bug. <coughs> no, I like it. Oliver and Bug became best friends. No one else seemed curious about the world outside the big tree besides them. Together, they could imagine who and what they might discover if they followed the river to its end. But every time Bug suggested they go exploring, Oliver decided it was safer to stay home. He was afraid they might get lost. Then, one night, snap! Bug fell into the river and was quickly swept far from the big tree. Oliver didn't know what to do. He paced, he hopped, he chirp chirped, and then he leaped from the big tree and chased after his friend. When Oliver reached the faraway woods, he was surrounded by strange new things. As he searched for Bug, he met new animals too. Hi there! Why are we upside down? Why are your ears so big? Where does this river go? Of course, he had lots of questions. What are you building? Why are you eating wood? You saw my friend float by? When? What are all those teeth for? Why do your eyes glow? A waterfall? Where? Oliver raced toward his friend as fast as he could. Bug! He swooped down and scooped a bug just in time. They burst from the cool darkness of the woods. It was the end of the river. And it was more incredible than they had imagined. Oliver and Bug were very far from home, but they couldn't stop now. They made new friends, or, 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 tried new things, explored new places, and even ate new food. Now, they were very far from home and they'd never had so much fun in their lives. Suddenly, the sky turned dark. 
Lightning flashed and thunder rumbled. The wind twisted and the rain fell harder. Everything looked strange and different. They were lost. Oliver began to think, maybe they shouldn't have explored all day or gone so far from home. Maybe they should have stayed in their safe big tree. But then Bug had an idea. If they followed all the who's, what's, when's, where's, and why's, they had asked all day. It might lead them back to the big tree. It was strange. The big tree didn't seem quite so big now. Oliver's family had been very worried. They hugged him tight and told him never to leave home again. But that night, Oliver and Bug told their family all about the amazing world they had discovered beyond the big tree. And they said they would be very sad if they never got to see it again. So the next day, everyone followed Oliver and Bug. Who? What? When? Where? Why? They had lots of questions. And how? The end.